Hey there, boys and girls. It's Ken from Vanderwan Gardens. Giving you a shout out a little bit early. So it's Wednesday. I usually do my hive inspections on Saturdays or Sundays, but I just can't wait to get back into these hives because I got some new toys to, to play with. So I bought some secondhand frames from somebody at a swap meet, and I got to reading about this here Queen. Oh, the Nico, I believe it is, the Nico Queen, um, Queen rearing kit. So you might have seen these things before, but what I did was I just hot glue gunned it to the top of an old frame. Got a strip of wood, hot glued it down here, because I uh, see that some people put um, foundation in here, so that way when the bees do lay, start making wax in here, you know they have something to put it against. I don't know, I'm not really planning on keeping this in there for long enough to have that wax be used. But essentially, the basic premise of this thing is that I'm going to leave this in uncovered. Oh, I'm getting buzzed right now. I'm going to leave this thing uncovered, and I'm going to let the nurse bees clean it out for the next 24 to 48 days. Uh, 48 hours. And then what they do is in the back here you see i put all these little plastic cups in here those are going to replicate hive cells i'm going to find the queen and i'm going to stick her in here i'm going to trap her in here Bloop. and then she's going to lay in some of these or maybe all of these and then i'll be able to see the eggs by looking back here, and I'll see the, which ones they are, and then what I'll do is obviously if I keep them mounted like this, they'll just be nurse bees. But instead, the kit came with this little, these little guys that I had glue gunned to another old frame, and then I'm going to mount those little cups, and I'll show you how that goes on later. But the little cups go here, and then. I put this back into the hive, and then they start building the queen cells all around it. And then I can protect each queen as they're developed and as they're capped over with a little cage so that when they come out, they don't get slaughtered. So the state of the hives is such that the left hive, the Catherine the Great Hive, is the strongest hive, even though I haven't laid eyes on the queen in a couple of weeks. On the right side, I've seen that queen, dotted white. She's not laying so good. I saw the queen in the blue hive here. Her name's Thaline the Queen, but Thaline the Queen was marked blue and she's no longer in there. So I found a, the queen that was in there and marked her yellow. On the left, that was a split that I took from the Catherine the Great hive so that way I would stop them swarming, so I moved a bunch of swarm cells. And this is a brand new hive that I made after going to an apiary meeting. And the guy at the apiary meeting had this really cool thing where he made many hives out of one hive. So I basically kind of stole his idea. You see how it's got three entrances in there? Excuse me, ladies. So I got myself. So I built this super, which is gonna protect this nectar flow. And I'm gonna add some sugar water to there so that way they can feed. And what I have in here is three distinct hives. So I put some nice wax beeswax on these uh, frames and I took my time with those separator boards and I made sure that they were ne very nearly exactly fitting to prevent any bees from getting from one compartment to the next. So what I have here is I got a three frame nuke next to a four frame nuke next to a three frame nuke. So if I find the queen 
I'm going to mark her. If I see lots of swarm cells, I'm going to actually move her over here with a couple of frames of her brood. And then in its place, I'm going to put that. I'm going to let the nurse bees clean it up for a while. And then in a day or so, I'll come back and maybe I'll move the queen out of here and put her into this contraption and see if I can't get some more queens. So without further ado, I'm telling you all sorts of great stuff that I'm going to do. Let me attach you to my handy dandy tripod. Let's get you over here. Try a different angle because it's like seven o'clock at night. So the sun is behind me now. And let's see what we can see. I'm gonna strap on some gloves. I've already turned off the electric fence. I got my smoker. And I got my queen clip in my hand, in my pocket, in case I need to capture a queen. Hello, ladies. I know I'm early. Hopefully, you're not still mad at me from last time. Something that I keep seeing on the videos that I'm watching is that these little white clips, they fall out. So I, uh, I put some propolis all over them. Oh, hello up there. What you doing up here? Beauty. Wow, there's lots and lots of honey up here, but I'm not even here to look at you. Oh, by the way, let me, let me introduce you to my buddy, Smoke. I forgot. Okay. Looks like I've got honey production on one, two, three, four, five frames. Five frames have good honey production. Wow, way to go, you guys. Okay. So now. I'd really like to find the queen. Now, what I really know I know I was a little bit of a wise guy. And I put this empty frame in here. You know what? I'm going to do like I should. You always got to start off on the end with a hive that nobody's playing with. Uh, with a frame that nobody's playing with. And sure enough, nobody's playing with this frame. So I can move it and get it out of the way. I'm seeing lots of honey over here, so I'm not even going to mess with this. I'm not trying to do a whole hive inspection. I'm trying to find the queen. I'm seeing some brood on here. I'm all excited because maybe, just maybe, I have built up some confidence in my queen finding skills. 
But no, this is all capped over brood. If I was a queen, I would not be on capped over brood. I'm looking for little eggs. And if there ain't no eggs, then there ain't no queen. And that's what I'm afraid of. I'm afraid that there ain't no queen. Queenie. So yeah, I'm seeing all sorts of nectar in here. I'm seeing some brood. I'm seeing some drones. I'm not seeing... I'm not seeing a queen. I'm not seeing no eggs. This could be a queenless hive. Oh, there's a swarm cell. But it's empty. Yep. So right now, if I wanted to start a new hive, I've got nothing to do it with. I got no queen, and I got no swarm cell. that empty frame so you know what I am going to swap empty frame I'm gonna shake you guys off right. because I want you in here and I want your plastic to be open to allow the nurse bees to get in there. So I, I know I haven't seen the queen yet. So I'm just gonna throw this in here. And see if I can't at least get it cleaned. Because while those factories in China are awfully wonderful and making awesome, great stuff for us to play with. The bees, they're critical little critters. So this is all, oh, that is a broken open queen cell. So I do not see <clears throat> any eggs in here. So even though there's a broken open queen cell, I don't think she's in that side. So, I remember talking about piping last time, and I looked it up what piping is. Piping is when the new emerging queen is sounding out to the entire colony, I'm here, I'm here, I'm ready to take over. So I'm listening for that piping, but I don't hear any. Oh, and there's another capped over. Queen cell. Oh, okay, that's the same one, just from a different angle. So if I was the queen, I would be here, but she's not. It could very well be that she's just not mated. Maybe she has hatched, maybe she's in here, and maybe she's ready to go out and take her mating flight. I can't split this hive until I have either a queen or eggs. Okay, so there's one, two more swarm cells, but they're open and uncapped. Like, they were never capped. Nobody was ever inside of them. So there's no laying queen. There is sealed over brood, though. I mean, I know it takes a while for brood to hatch, and I've only just been in here. I do 
not see a queen marked or unmarked. I do not see, oh, I see lots of chunky drones. I have it in my mind. Oh, there's lots of young bees, too. I have it in my mind what the queen it looks like. I know exactly what it is that I'm looking for. I'm looking for somebody moving with a purpose. I'm looking for somebody I'm looking for somebody near eggs, and there's no eggs to be found. Not in there. So much nectar. But no babies. This is my third time in this hive and not seeing the white marked queen. They just stand, they just poke right up at you when they're when they're marked. Nope. And as we get out of the center, my chances of finding that queen are are diminishing because she'll never be on the honey frames. There's a couple of emergency. Oh my god, this whole thing is full of swarm cells. There's one, two, three, four, five swarm cells. There's one, two, three supersedure cells. But no eggs. This hive is queenless. Probably. Yep, you see somebody drinking honey? Not the queen. Queens can't drink the honey directly. They have to be fed. Oh, that's right. I was planning on making, uh, using uh, my earbuds so that way you guys could actually hear me. But you can't. You can barely hear me. Okay, this is a queenless hive. One last frame that looks from here to be 100% honey. But I will look just in case I see a tiny little egg. Nope. It's a drawn out comb on this very last frame. Where I found the queen on the other hive was on a frame kind of like this, where it didn't look like it was finished, so of course she wouldn't be on there, but then there she was. But I do not see eggs. Or larva, for that matter.
So, once again, I have not seen the queen, and I think last time I saw larva, but this time I didn't even see larva. equally non-drawn out so this one's got more bees hanging on to it okay so just to recap what we did in here we gave this hive the queen producer in the hopes that they'll clean it out I'm going to be back in 24 hours, 24 to 48 hours. And I'll see if I can find any eggs anywhere in the main part of the hive. I'm not even going to touch that hive over here because I wouldn't want that queen laying eggs anyway because this hive here is very slow it's not doing very much in the way of production I don't want that queen's genetics being carried on okay so that's all for that hive The next contestant on Price is Right is Catherine the Second. seen her queen. Oh, somebody just uh, attacked me. Somebody just bonked me. Yep, I'm getting bonked. No queen up there. I know, I know, I was just into you guys. I totally get it. I'd be pissed too. So where do I think the queen is? Not on this frame. Oh. This frame could really use some honey. Uh, some, some wax. I'm starting to get some wax. So we're starting to see some things get drawn out over here, but no, 
not even a hint of egg there. No eggs here. No brood here. No queen here. Seeing a supersedure cell. I'm seeing just a lot of honey, pollen. a lighter frame telling me that there is likely to be more brood, less resources. So here, let me point you over here to me. So yeah, no queen, no eggs. I mean, I don't think so anyway. I got my strong glasses on. Next frame looks like it's honey. Feels heavy, like honey should. <clears throat> yep. I think I've got two queenless hives. Now I know that some of the other kids were saying that the nurse bees start laying drones like crazy, but I don't see that. I don't think there's any need. So there's nothing in one, two, three, four. Yeah, there's nothing, nothing to be seen anywhere else in this hive. frame that has no wax on it for this one that I've waxed up. Hopefully that will help them to move faster. Now we're cooking with wax. Okay, you guys. I'm gonna 
seal you up, put you back to work. I mean, not bad for a split hive. No, you're very angry with me. Okay. What the heck are you? You need to die. And you, you need to come out of there. And you'll be trapped in there. Okay, so they're all buttoned up. And then these three frames. I'm gonna go stick them into the pile to get waxed. And that, boys and girls, was not very successful, but not horrible either. So we have no queen and no queen. So after that thing's been cleaned up, I'm gonna take it out of there. I'm gonna go into Faylene the queen, the second hive. I'm gonna find her, I'm gonna stick her in there. We're gonna put that back in here. We're gonna let her lay some eggs, do her magic. She's, do she's doing a good job. Well, thanks, and please like, subscribe, tell your friends. Bloop, 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 bloop. Nope, not gonna work without the glove.